the, the rebranding of the Baptist Prison Service is part of a culmination of a extensive process of planning and organizing spanning over a period of about two years. It was occasioned by amendments of our government to the system of Republican status. And consequently, all organizations which are organs of government were mandated to basically move away from the monarchy to reflect a more modern Republican status ethos, all right? Our, our rebranding exercise would have involved reviewing of all of our systems, including protocols, procedures, and policies, regulations as well, to coincide with government's initiative of transforming the, the, the constitution basically to a Republican status constitution. We had, had to make a lot of adjustments to our symbols, uh, which would, would reflect the crown, and those symbols now reflect the coat of arms and also the trident of Barbados. We'd have had many discussions as it relates to the, the whole issues surrounding the changes. And as I speak, the changes are still ongoing. This whole rebranding exercise ties snugly into our five main operating objectives here at the Baptist Prison Service at Dodds. And those five objectives are to maintain core prison operations, to improve the management of our human resources capital, to increase the successful reentry of inmates into the community, to improve the business practices and performance inclusive of our philosophy and community engaging, and finally, to contribute towards public safety. That is our main reason for this reviewing and upgrading. So, so the new uniform consists of a khaki shirt, uh, olive green pants, and that is what we call the work dress, olive green hat. You'll also have those members of staff who work in the support services side of the house and instructors, they are wearing the gray uniforms, and those will reflect the rehabilitative side of the house. And we also have staff who are wearing black, and those are the security arms of our organization. So the, the, the colors relating to the word dress, and it, in particular the green olive, the olive green pants would have been as a result of our, our looking at the existing cap which, would have, which we wore for all the years. And we wanted a green that was not depictive of any other organizations basically as arms of government as well because we didn't want the colors to be clashing with other organizations as they change and, and uh, redesign their, their uniforms as well. And, and based on what you can see, the, the, the green really sits snugly and uh, matches the shirt that we had existing, as well as the shoes, as well as the accessories in terms of the hat and the badges of the ranks and the patches and such like it that we're going to be wearing in this new, new era.